Hey, this is Marvel and Brown, and today we're going to talk about Google Docs. I'm going to do a quick demo of how to use the uh, voice typing function because I think this is really going to help a lot of people. Now, you may already be familiar with this, and if so, um, you might want to skip this video. But if you're not familiar with this functionality, I really want to um, encourage you to use it because especially if you're someone who really doesn't like the writing part of the blog uh, process, maybe you are someone who doesn't type that well or you don't like you know, sitting down and spending hours trying to write out your blog post, this is really going to help you be a lot more productive. So I'm gonna show you how to use that. Um, so the first thing you wanna do is you want to be in the Google Chrome browser. And then you also want to have a Gmail account. So if you don't have the Chrome browser, you can go out to Google Chrome and just put in Google Chrome right here in the search bar. It'll come up, you can download it and get that onto your computer. And then um, Gmail is a free email that you can get, um, that's Google's email. And uh, once you do that, once you have your free Gmail account, and your Google Chrome browser, you're gonna be good to go. And all you need to do is type in Google. And then we are going to go to the Google Chrome or the Google Docs rather page. Now this page is going to also open up if you click on that little, I don't know what that is, the little symbol, it's gonna show you all the Google products. These are free products that you can use um, that are very similar to Microsoft Office. So Docs is similar to Microsoft Word, Sheets is similar to Excel, and Slides is similar to PowerPoint. Now there's also a forms application that you can use to collect data. It's really good for doing surveys. If you don't already have that functionality on your, um, on your blog, you can create a form here and then embed it into your blog. But today we're gonna to talk about docs and I'm gonna show you how to use the voice typing function. So this voice typing function has really helped me to be a lot more productive because I can, um, and let me just show you here, they've got templates um, already set up just like in Microsoft Word where you don't have to you know, start from scratch you can use one of these templates as a starting point and then just fill in your information. Today, we're gonna to use a blank document. And as you can see, this looks very similar to uh, Microsoft Word. But the thing that I really like about it is that you can share this. So instead of emailing files back and forth to someone who might be helping you, um, for example, if you have a virtual team and maybe there's someone that does your proofreading or your editing or you know, wordsmithing or whatever, you can just share this document with that person to their Gmail account. And then um, you don't have to worry about emailing stuff or, you know, making sure that you have all the updates. It's just, it can be very um, mind boggling, you know, passing documents back and forth between you and your team members. So this is a great way to share documents um, and share information, even if you're not blogging. If you are working with a team, this really makes it easy to share documents and share information. So I'm gonna show you this function and then I'm gonna show you how easy it is to use. And then um, I'll talk about how you get this onto your blog. So the thing that I wanna show you is um, the voice typing function. And the way that you get to that is through tools, voice typing. And then a microphone is gonna pop up and all you do, um, and this is the, the real um, magic of this is all you do is just talk. So the great thing about blogging is that you wanna make a connection with your audience. And the way to do that is you just basically want to have a conversation with them about whatever the topic is that you're, you're covering in your article. So, you know, this feature really makes it easy for you to just talk. You know, you talk, you write out the article, you have the information you need, and you move on. And then, you know, it also makes it easy for you to write a blog post in about, you know, 10, 15, 20 minutes, and you're done, especially once you get the hang of this. So let's get started. So when you click on this, um, 
microphone as you can see it turns orange and then you can also see the words going across the screen so everything that I'm saying into my microphone is being dictated um, on the screen on the paper period new paragraph now when you want to enter uh, punctuation all you do is just say the name of the punctuation and it appears on the screen period so if I want to say um, if I want to make a list and I want to separate it I can say um, I am going to the store to buy bread comma milk comma and eggs period new paragraph so as you can see it put in the commas it puts in the periods and it will give you a new paragraph and after each period it capital it puts in a space and it capitalizes the first letter you know of a new sentence so this is a really good feature to um, you know use so that you can be more productive with your blogging with your writing with your content creation and if you're someone who maybe helps others maybe you're a virtual assistant and you're helping someone create content you can really put out a lot of content in a very short period of time using a conversational tone using a tone that you know helps your readers connect with you as a real person you know that's the main thing you want to convey is that you're a real person you're very knowledgeable about whatever it is that you're discussing but you're a real person someone who's approachable someone that they might want to work with period new paragraph so that's pretty much it I'm gonna cut it off but that's all you do I mean and this is really a great way for you to get your content done quickly um, easily and then once you have your rough draft done then you can either step away from it for a while and then come back do your editing and you're ready to go you can also if you have someone else working on your edits um, you can share it let them know that it's available and then they're you know they can go in and do their thing so in order to get this onto your blog all you want to do is log in to your WordPress site and you know your WordPress site also has a um, editor so all you do is just take this information you copy it you select it rather right click and then instead of hitting copy now this is the thing with Google Docs you can't just hit copy you have to hit control C so and let me just show you what happens when you hit copy so you right click if you hit copy oh it, it allowed me to copy that's interesting okay so let me just open wordpad and see yeah it did allow me to copy now maybe I was in another browser when I um, got that control C thing but either way it goes you can right click copy or you can highlight and hit control C and it's going to do the same thing so the control key and then the letter C and then when you get to your um, you know your editor like um, your WordPress editor all you do is hit control V as in Victor and that will paste it into your um, your WordPress editor so that's pretty much all you do you just get your um, you get your blog post looking the way you want it to look and then you can you know paste it into WordPress you can paste it into blogger whatever blogging platform you're using and then you move on with life so you're not you know spending the whole day um, trying to do a blog post it's very easy and very convenient you can also use this on your cell phone so Google Docs is available on your cell phone you can download it from the um, Google Play Store if you have Android or the iTunes Store if you have a um, Apple you can put it on your tablet um, it's very very user friendly so I hope I have given you some information that will help you if you're someone who hates writing or if you don't like typing or if you just want to be more productive this is going to be your go-to uh, tool so thanks for watching this video please like comment and share and I will see you on the next video have a great day bye bye